We met at the tennis club actually. So one of those tennis battles, myself, Manus and another good mate, Rory. And Jess was working it and Manus had already met Jess. He started talking to her at the counter and, and off, off they went. And I was like, oh, Manus, who's that? who's that cutie there? I was like, oh, it's Jess, Jess. You know Jess? You don't know Jess? Like, um, I was like, no, nah, I don't know Jess. Oh, okay, well, whatever, I'll introduce Jess. So I introduced me after the game and um, kind of just, yeah, a bit of a chat. Told her she needs to give me some tennis tips and, and everything. I messaged her and we went for a game of tennis and <laughs> she smashed me. Um, but, um, mate, that was pretty much it. She's, she's awesome, she's really down to earth. And so, so we create a really good balance for each other like that. So she's, uh, yeah, amazing. So I grew up on the Sunshine Coast. Grew up on a bit of a property where Trent, my older brother, he played sport with me all afternoon, um, which was a huge blessing for me. And, and one was definitely cricket. Cricket and golf were the, were the main two ones with some land we had. So, but basically I played golf all through the winter, played in your Queensland teams, those, those rep teams, played the, the junior competitions, all that jazz. And then obviously same with cricket in the summer. So yeah, I would say that I, I did make a decision either way. It kind of was like I did love both growing up to I was about 14 and I did feel then, okay, I'm gonna go cricket. And I felt that that was quite an easy choice for me now I look back on it. I love the team aspect of cricket. So I was in the under 17s, under 19s programs after school and, and obviously then you start to harbour that desire to be a professional. Played a, a really good under 19s carnival um, and from there I was picked in the under 19 World Cup team and then landed myself a rookie contract coming back so you know suddenly then you're just you're just turning 19 and it's all in your lap a little bit. I then got upgraded to a, a two-year senior contract with the Bulls which was awesome and then yeah there both years there had some injuries um, and didn't make the most of some opportunities as well but you know as I put too much pressure on myself as well when you come back from injury and you feel like you've only got a few games to try and I guess play for your spot, play for you know the respect of your teammates. Um, so those injuries, some some opportunities I didn't quite nail, um, and then just losing track a little bit of how I was going, how I was playing, who I wanted to be. Yeah, I would have been 23, and I just kind of just had to yeah be honest with myself. You know, what do you want to do with this? Because like you know, do you want to do you still want to play cricket professionally, um, or you know, do you want to just play for fun and kind of go down a different career? Yeah, I said no, nah, I, I want to try and be a professional cricketer again. I'm only 23, I think I'd still love to have a crack, you know, and just get the best out of myself because I know what I can bring. So I was jobless and I was hitting the nets at 6.30 every morning, living off my savings that I had from when I was younger. And then, then I found a bit of disability support work as well with um, a mate's organisation called Let's Go Support Service. Definitely check them out, they're awesome. He teams up with lots of clients and encourages them to go out, so go out to music events, to, to festivals, um, to sporting games, Broncos games, heat games, everything like that. So I jumped on board with him and he gave me some clients and for me it was a good perspective on everything, helped kept me grounded around my training, around cricket with ups and downs of performance. It was a real outlet to go and mate, like go and look after these people and that's something, you know, it fills my heart in a way, it's just helping people. Long story short, that year was was a better year. Got into the second 11, uh, had some good numbers in the second 11. Um, and then I guess COVID hit, then I moved into Marnus's house, which was awesome because um, he had a gym in his house and he said, look, mate, please come and stay with us. So it just means that, you know, we can keep training together. And that wasn't once again, a huge blessing for, for us. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.